everyone and welcome to a brand new series that we're going to have here on the channel. This is Niche, a genetic survival game, and this is a game that I have played before. I did play a demo version here on my channel, but now I have the early access version, so I'm very excited to get started on that. This is version 0.1.5, and it is available on Steam if you want to try it out for yourself. Uh, but we're going to get started and we're going to play um, and we're going to create a brand new world and we're going to name it, I guess, Rosewood because Rosewood is the best world ever. And here we are. We have arrived at the Rosewood Newbie Islands and here are our starting characters. We have Adam over here and we have Eve um, and I think these are the same every single time. And then here is our island. So there is, let's see, two nests over here. There is a tree over this way and then over this way is leading to different islands. So I know a little bit, but this is my first time actually playing the early, ac early access myself. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to all the different things. So please uh, bear that in mind and forgive me for any little mistakes that I make. And if you have any tips or hints, please let me know as I am a noob and I need some help. Um, but here's Adam, so his genetics are speed four, collecting one, strength two, and venomous two. So he has poisonous fangs. So that is something that we definitely want to pass on to future generations of our family. And Eve has speed five, collecting two, and strength two. And if we go into their genetics a little bit deeper, we can see tons of other different things that they have. Uh, medium ears, normal eyes, big nose, normal body, runner's legs, uh, different fur types, uh, different manes, uh, eye color. Oh my gosh, there's so many different like choices and different things. So. This is like the first trait, and these are the secondary traits that they have in their genetics. Hidden deep below, um, immunity A and immunity B, no pattern, fluffy tail, hind legs. All right, so what we're gonna do is make sure that we read them first off the bat, because this is a genetic survival game. We need to survive by passing on the genetics of our um, creatures into their offspring. So we're gonna have Eve actually come over here. She's better at berry picking, I believe. We're gonna have her come and pick these berries that we have. There we go. And I think that's all we pretty much wanna do. We could have Adam kind of come over here and look around this way. And that's basically all we have. So we are going to skip the turn and we're gonna see the very first baby that we're gonna have. And this very first baby that Adam and Eve have had on Rosewood Stardy Newbie Island is Ro Caro? I am going to butcher these names so bad, so please forgive me, but this is a little boy, and he's kind of like his mommy, so he has speed 5, collecting 2, and strength 1, and we have a brand new little precious little boy, and he looks really cute, he kind of has like the mane from his dad, um, and then the lighter color of his mother, so oh, I love I love genetics games, I love games where you can breed animals, I'm, I'm in love. So let's see, what else should we do? We should have Eve probably come over here, and they can... Uh, mix the love and we have to wait for this little one to be ready to get out of the nest and Adam can kind of see actually I want Eve uh, I guess Adam could pick these berries because he's there and then he can kind of like investigate around this area too there we go and then Eve's going to pop into this nest in just a second um, but she can kind of look over here um, but yeah so I'm pretty excited that our first baby that we had little Roro, uh, we'll call him for short, or yeah, Roro, Roro, yeah, our very first little baby is healthy, so I'm excited to see what the next baby we have will be, and I thought I saw some rustling, but it might just be the wind, not too sure. Alright, so we're going to skip our turn, and then, oh, this little one has grown up, so as you can see, he has a well, little gem now, because he's still just a baby, so the gems that they have are the amount of turns that they have, and there's something rustling over there, which is a little bit concerning, um, but we're going to have our little son pop out of the nest. We're definitely going to have Eve pop in the nest and collect these berries, and then we're going to have Adam kind of investigate over, oh my gosh, what are you? What are you? Oh, hi! Is her, is he, is Issyri. Issyri. We're gonna call you Issy. So we have found a female. Um, she's a little bit older, but not too bad. Uh, she has speed 2 and strength 4, so she is the strongest one. Oh, I moved her. I didn't mean to. Oh, and there's another nest over there. Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing that we moved her. So we saw that there was a nest. Um, but this is another female that we have, 
and she has G and D immunity and F and G. Um, so they could possibly have um, double G immunity, which wouldn't be that good, but this is the only other female that we have right now. So I kind of want to see what type of baby um, Adam and Isseri can have, actually. And then, do you have any collecting? Let's see. No collecting, so I don't think you can really collect any of these berries. Could you know? Um, I am going to breed them to see what type of baby they can have. Eve might be a little bit upset about that, but it is a genetic survival game, and I do want to pass on <laughs> the genetics. So we're going to have Isuri kind of like pop over in this nest over here, and we're going to have Adam kind of like look around here to clear out this area. Um, and she's a very interesting creature. I mean, look at her. Uh, she has some very interesting genetics. Um, she has the spit snout. Okay. So she has a little spit snout and she has a beige mane. She has yellow fur and gray fur, which makes this actually really beautiful, like, white color. So that would be interesting to have. And then genetics. Um, if we come over here, actually, we can drag and drop drop genes here to mutate your offspring. So I think what we want to do um, is we want to try to mutate, see, runner's legs maybe? We'll try to mutate that and then maybe, let's see, normal eyes, spit snout, doo -doo -doo. we can try lean body, big nose for now. I don't really know what we want to do. Uh, we can try for poison fangs, those seem pretty useful. Um, so she's gonna have a baby. Eve is gonna have a baby. Hopefully she's not too upset that Adam has taken on another mate. I mean, at least temporarily for now. Um, just to see. I'm curious to see what type of baby we can have. And then Adam, I think we're just gonna have you skip the turn. So let's go and see. We're gonna have two new babies and it has rained. So the berries have, uh, come back to us. So, oh my gosh, we have another spit snout little baby over there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so Eve, let's take a look at your baby. And you had a little girl, um, Mimura? Mimura? Mimiura? Something like that. Mimi. You had a little baby Mimi. So we have, let's see, Roro and we have Mimi. <laughs> We're going to give them nicknames because I'm totally going to butcher all these names because they're too hard for me. <laughs> um, so Roro and Mimi are the two children of Adam and Eve. So we have a boy and a girl, and she is, let's see, she has picking two, she has speed five, and she has one strength. Alright, so we're going to have Eve kind of pop over here, mate with Adam again, and then we're going to have, oh, there's another nest over here, awesome, there's three nests, this is amazing. Alright, so noted that there's an, uh, more nests over here. Um, and Adam, let's see, let's have you pop over here so you can pick some of these berries that we have. And then we're going to take a look at Adam and, um, Isseri's baby. Um, and this little baby's name is, let's see, is Roro. Hi, Roro. So Roro has speed three and strength one. Um, yeah. Hind legs. You have the spit snout. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, we will breed them again just to you know, kind of like see what other type of babies we get. I don't know if this is the best breeding pair that we have because she cannot collect things, but she's really cute. Like, look at this spit snow. It's so like interesting. And let's see, does she have like one big eye? Um, normal eyes. Why is her one eye so big? I'm not too sure. I'm not too, too sure what's going on with our genetics here, but yeah, it's very interesting to see what the different type of creatures can look like because as you can see, there is like some big varieties of things that can happen. So we're going to skip the turn and hopefully these two little ones will be ready to leave the nest so we can have this baby. Little Mimi can come over here and then our little uh, spit or spit snout boy Ro Roro? Roro can come over. Um, let's have him come over here. Oh, there's a bunny. There was a bunny over there. Do you guys see that? And then we can have um, little Isseri come Oh, actually, yeah, come over here in the nest. And then Eve, you can just come in this nest, I guess. Oh, wait, did you skip that? You totally skipped the nest. Come in this nest, little gun. And then look over here. Oh, gosh, no, you took damage. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Eve. Eve, no, I'm so sorry. That is really bad. So we're definitely going to have to make sure that we have enough food because um, each turn or each move that you do 
normally takes a piece of food and if you don't have enough food you will take damage um and that's not good because the amount of damage you get affects your life overall and we don't want to give eve or any of our creatures like less life than they deserve so we're definitely gonna have to make sure that we try to keep enough food around here but we're gonna skip the turn and we're gonna see what type of babies that we have with eve and little isseri um with adam um let's let's see what happens um and here we are we have another little main baby so eve um is baby is van ducro van ducro over here um he has a mane just like his little dad over here his daddy um he has speed four collecting one and strength one all right very interesting and then this one kind of looks like eve surprisingly enough even though this is a little isseri's um baby um, so Isseri, you had little baby, wait, Isseri had baby Isseri? <laughs> um, and this is actually, uh, a good genetics here. Right, so we have speed four, collecting one, strength four, which I think she's actually, oh no, Isseri is strong too, and Isseri had Isseri. <laughs> Isseri had Isseri, this is interesting. Um, and then she also has the poisonous fangs, which her mother does not have, but Adam, her father, does have. So she is our fiercest warrior that we have right now. So very interesting. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you made, uh, you two made the most interesting baby right now. So we're gonna have Isseri, the mother, come over here and breed again with Adam. Then we'll have her kind of make her way down to this nest, I guess. And then we will definitely have Eve pop over here in breed here. Actually, can she make it? She can make it into this nest, so we're gonna let her go into the nest just so we have another baby in the next turn. And then Adam, why don't you collect some berries? You're not the best at it, but you will do for now. And then you little one, you're so small. Um, your ability's too low. <laughs> look at you, little Roro. Um, why don't you kind of look around over here? I probably shouldn't like leave the babies unattended like this it's probably not good parenting so why don't we have the older brother kind of like run over here and say what are you doing don't you know it's dangerous to go alone take this <laughs> or something like that but look at our family our little strange uh family that we have <laughs> okay so let's skip our turn and see what happens next um so eve had a baby looks pretty much just like her a little bit darker and this is Lari. And she has speed four, collecting one, and strength one. All right, very interesting. Another little girl. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have little Isseri, <laughs> Isseri the baby, um, pop out of the nest. Let's have her kind of like come this way. And then we're gonna have Isseri the mom um, pop back over into, oh no, damage, no! I'm really bad at that. I'm really bad. Make sure we get all the berries. Oh, you can't collect berries because you don't have the abilities to collect those. All right, you can come over here and collect these berries. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, little Isseri, the mommy. Um, you can come over in this nest and have a baby in the next turn. Oh, I feel so bad when I like damage them. Um, all right, I don't really want you oh down here by yourself but it's gonna have to do for now definitely gonna have to do and then you little one um little van ducro uh what should we do we can kind of have you look over here and then adam uh we're out of food um eve you can collect these berries and then you mimi um you can come over here and you can uh it doesn't look like you can get this oh wait we're out of berries over here okay all right, so we're gonna skip the turn and then we're gonna see what other baby that little Isseri over here has had. And it looks like we have another Spitznout baby. So we have La, La Coco, the female. La Coco, the female. So we have speed three, collecting one, and strength four. So we do have a strong, uh, fierce warrior over here. So we're definitely making some warriors um, with little Isseri and Adam. Um, and I want. Roro Ro, Ro to come out of there. I don't want him to be by himself. So we're gonna have Roro come back over here and you can kind of look. Oh god. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm the worst person ever. I hate it when that happens. No. 
Alright, Eve, collect food, collect food, we need food. It rained, get all the berries. All the berries need to be gotten right now. You get berries. Alright, and then can you collect any? No, you guys can't collect anything. Uh, I do want, let's see, maybe we can move Roro. We can move you over here, and then your brother can come over here. And then you should be able to collect some of these berries too in the next turn. And I do want, let's see, I want you to pop out of the nest. I want you to come over here. Not old enough for mating. Um, oh wait, no, I wanted you to mate. Okay, I thought you were Eve for a second. That's why I was having you come over here. So I don't have Isari, um, have her come over here, mate with Adam. And she's not gonna be able to make it back in a nest. So we'll just have her wait here for now. And then we can have you pop out of the nest. There we go. All right, so let's clip, skip the turn and see what happens. <laughs> uh, all right, so we can have you, little one. Um, actually, ooh, there's some rustling over there. Uh, we're gonna have to be careful. Adam, why don't you pick some berries? Oh, there's double rustling, oh no. All right, and then Eve, you can pick some berries. And then Roro, you can pick some berries over here too. And let's see, who has more strength? They're all little babies. Um, let's see, I guess, uh, I kind of want to see what's going on over here, but I'm really scared. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, uh, are you pregnant? You are pregnant. So let's see if we can, let's see, let's have you luck grow. Um, pop you out of the nest. Oh no, you're in. Oh, okay, you're down there now. <laughs> I don't like it when they go down there. Uh, we'll have you pop down here, and why don't you kind of look around too, so we can kind of like open up this area up, and we're gonna see what type of baby you have in the next turn. And then you are clearing out this area, doing a good job. And then Eve, why don't you pop over here and make a baby, and then we can pop you in a next in a nest in the next turn and then the rustling over here is very concerning um there's two and then you little mimi um i guess we'll just have you stay for now yeah and let's skip the turn um hopefully whatever that is doesn't come closer i'm a little bit scared um all right the rustling is still going on okay but we have a brand new little baby and we have a little um Tanu! Little Tanu! So Tanu has four strength, um, one collecting, and one speed. And let's have Eve and Adam... Uh, oh no, Eve, you're already pregnant. Alright, pop you in a nest. There we go. I'm like, why can't we breed? Um, and then we will have Isari, the mom, um, come over here and... Oh no, I am the worst person. The worst person ever. The worst person. All right, Eve, clock these. All right, sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, we're gonna have you breed, and then we'll have you wait over here, and then it looks like you, little Mimi, or you grow up. You're an adult now. I'm so proud of you. Um, and I think we're gonna have to investigate to see what is over here in this rustling. Oh my goodness! There are two things. There is a gorgeous little boy, Duke Nuke, with six strength, the most strength that we've ever seen, and there's also a predator, so wow. So hopefully, oh, okay, so, and this is like a teenager too, it's not even an adult, um, and little Mimi has found this boy over here, and, you know, she doesn't have the best strength, she only has one, but I think what she would try to do is kind of like fight this predator here, and then maybe Duke Nuke will try um, to fight too, because he's pretty strong. Um, wow. Alright, so we're gonna have to see how this plays out in the next episode, but I'm very, very excited to start playing Niche, and let me know if you've started playing too. Um, Niche? 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 I don't really know how you're pronounce, supposed to pronounce it. Maybe you can just, like, choose your own adventure and pronounce it however you want, but we have a very interesting family going on here. And um, we're going to have to see how this story continues in the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!